Hello everyone, welcome back to our oceanography. Today we will be discussing on the bottom morphology of Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is the smallest of all the three great oceans. It is the geologically youngest among all these three great oceans, covering an area of 734 million square kilometer. It is connected to both Atlantic and Pacific Ocean through the broad open seas in the south of Africa and Australia. Unlike the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean is entirely closed by the land area to the north. In fact, it is the only ocean that has been named after the country India as the country almost forms the head of the ocean. The Indian Ocean is bounded by southern parts of Asia in the north, Indonesia and Australia in the east and Africa in the west. To the south, there is Antarctic coast. The Tropic of Cancer forms the northernmost limit of the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is comparatively less deep than Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Its average depth is 4000 meter. More than 60% of the parts of the ocean floor of the Indian Ocean is deep sea plain with having a depth between 4000 to 6000 meter. The most notable feature of the Indian Ocean is the deep sea fans of Ganges and Indus. Around 4.2% of the ocean area of Indian Ocean is covered by the continental shelf. The narrow continental shelves are found rimming the entire ocean. The continental shelves are widest in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal where it is 640 kilometers broad in many places. It is also quite broad along the coast of Africa and Madagascar. In fact, the Madagascar island is on the continental shelf itself. The continental shelf is comparatively narrow on the east from Java and Sumatra in the north to Australia in the south, where the average width is only 160 kilometers. It is quite narrow along the Antarctic continent. Moving to the ocean ridges of the Indian Ocean, like the Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean also has the mid-oceanic ridge running in north to south direction. The central ridge or the mid-oceanic ridge is known as the mid-Indian Ocean Ridge that extends from the southern tip of Indian Peninsula in the north to Antarctica in the south, almost in north-south direction and forms a continuous chain of highlands. Wherever the central ridge or its branches emerge above the sea level, you can find islands. The main central ridge starts from the continental shelf of southern tip of Indian Peninsula with an average width of 320 kilometers. This part of the ridge is known as Lakadiv Chagos Ridge. The ridge further extends southwards and widens near the equator. Here it is called as the Chagos St. Paul Ridge. Between the equator and 30 degrees south latitude, the average width of this Indian Ocean Ridge becomes 320 kilometers. The ridge further widens to almost 1600 kilometer between 30 degree to 50 degree south latitudes. Between the 30 degree to 50 degree south latitudes, the ridge is known as Amsterdam St. Paul Plateau. The central ridge bifurcates almost near to the 50 degree south latitudes. The western branch is known as the Gosberg Ridge that extends in northwest to southeast direction. And the eastern branch 
is known as Indian Antarctic Ridge. The Mid-Indian Oceanic Ridge divides the Indian Ocean into two major basins, the Eastern and the Western Basins. These basins are further divided into several sub-basins by the branches of Central Ridge. Let's look into some of the important basins of the Indian Ocean. The Oman Bridge, the Oman Basin faces the Gulf of Oman and is spread over the extensive continental shelf with an average depth of 3600 meter. The Arabian Basin is located almost in circular shape between the Lakadiv Chagos Ridge and here the average depth almost goes to 3600 to 6000 meter. The Somali Basin is bordered by the Chagos Ridge in the northwest, the Central Ridge in the east, the Mauritius Ridge in the southwest and African coast in the west. Here the average depth is 3600 meter approximately. The Mauritius Basin is located between the southwest of Indian Ridge and south of Madagascar Ridge. Here the depth varies between 4000 to 6000 meter. The deepest part of this is around 6391 meter. The Masquerine Basin extends between the Madagascar and Mauritius Ridge. Besides there is Agulhas Basin with an average depth of 3600 meter and Atlantic Indian Antarctic Basin almost finding the eastward continuation of Atlantic Antarctic Basin. There is Eastern Indian Antarctic Basin located between the Amsterdam St. Paul Plateau and the Indian Antarctic Ridge. There are very few deeps and trenches in the Indian Ocean. About 60% of the ocean consists of deep sea plains with depth ranging between 4000 to 6000 meters. The significant trenches are the Java or the Suntas Trench with a depth of 7450 meter deep, the Op Trench with 6875 meter and the Mauritius Trench. many small and big islands in the Indian Ocean. The Madagascar and Sri Lanka are the islands of large size and are supposed to be the parts of the mainland. Zanzibar and Comoro are small islands. They are also continental islands. The Andaman and the Nicobar group of islands is the extension of the submerged part of the Arakan Yoma range of the Myanmar. Lakshadweep, Maldives, Chagos and St. Paul Ridge are important islands situated on the Mid-Indian Ocean Ridge. Mauritius and Reunion Islands in the east of Madagascar are volcanic islands. However, the eastern part have virtually no islands except the Christmas Island. Indian Ocean has very few marginal seas. The Red Sea is one of the most interesting marginal seas of the Indian Ocean. It is located in a rift valley which separates Africa from Arabian Peninsula. The Persian Gulf is another important one. The Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal are simply the exclusions of the Indian Ocean. Besides Lakshadweep Sea, Andaman Sea, Gulf of Oman, Timur Sea and some others are some of the marginal seas in the Indian Ocean. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you and have a great day.